Hey everybody, this is, uh, it's May 26th, uh, Tuesday. We had a fair amount of rain yesterday on Memorial Day. On Sunday I came out here with a pump and I actually pumped down uh, about two and a half inches of water out of my, uh, out of my pond just to prepare for that. Um, so after I pumped everything down, uh, all of this area right here didn't have any standing water in it at all, um, including this over here. This is along the property line. Uh, the neighbor built this dam, would have been last Monday and Tuesday. And uh, I'll just, uh, let me walk around and kind of show you what's going on, just in case I do have to actually have to go to court, which I hope I don't. But if we do, I've got the evidence. Unfortunately, it's supposed to rain a lot more this week, so I don't know. I hope I don't lose my pond, all my fish. I've got a lot of fish in there, a lot of money invested, a lot of time invested. Anyway, let me walk you around. So all of this area here, I've never once had standing water. And uh, yes, you can see my, my toenails are painted. I had a daddy-daughter date with my daughter, and she insisted she paint my toenails. Anyway, all of this area here, all the way up to his berm that he's got, or not berm, but dam, over there. This is all inundated with water. Never once have I had water standing, pulling right here. Uh, let me get my tape measure out and I'll try to show you approximately how deep we're talking. Uh, about three and three quarter right there. Of course, all of this is poison ivy, so yeah, another one three and three quarter. But what really concerns me, of course, all of this as well. All of this is underwater. Three and three quarter. Uh, feel like it's getting a little bit deeper. Well, maybe. Oh yeah, well, no, I guess not, about three inches. What really concerns me, though, is this area right here. Oh, as you can see, where my feet are, I'm at five and seven eighths, roughly. Sorry, is that four and seven eighths? Sorry, I'm at four and seven eighths. And it just gets worse. All of this area right here, that's all underwater. I've got, tree, I've got birds that nest up in here. It's probably going to kill this tree. That's at three inches. There we go. Now we're getting deep. There's seven and an eighth. <coughs> Now, to be fair, this area did always hold a little bit of water um, in the wet months. Maybe an inch and a half or so. Oh, yeah, here we go now. And yeah, now we're at almost nine inches. No. And again, bear in mind, I pumped this down Sunday afternoon before the rains came. About two and a half inches. So as you can see, this is all, it's all water held up by his dam. Hopefully I can try to avoid getting bit by my water snakes out here. Now all of this in the dry months would stay uh, pretty much dry unless we had a pretty good rain. Um, but usually it wouldn't have any more than about a half an inch. Uh, the kids would always come out here and uh, do their frog hunting and all that stuff. So we'll continue going over here. And this is all just sopping wet. I mean, 
again, where are we at here? And you can see all my fish already swimming around up here. So I'm at, I'm at three inches there, at two and seven eighths. <sighs> it just gets worse. Yep, three inches. I mean, look at all this over here. All of that is being held up by that dam that he had built. So, I'll go over here a little bit farther. Hopefully, they don't try to come out and cause any problems, but yeah, three and a half inch. At uh, three and three quarter or so. Yeah, look at this. See, this is where the original runoff exited my property. I'm at almost seven inches there. Now, oh, there's eight inches there. So, yeah. None of this was here before he built this dam. Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah, there's nine and a half right there. And, of course, you can see the dam. You can see his pond. Anyway, yeah, all of this is just soaking wet. Ow, thorns. See some of my fish swimming around here. Had my dirt guy out today looking at this. And he said it's actually even worse over here in this area, so let me go over here and check it out. Yeah, not great. Of course, right over here is the county cemetery, just on the other side of that property line. So... Hopefully it doesn't back up into that. I hate to have coffins rolling across my across my property. Anyhow, that's what we're dealing with. I hope we can come to some kind of agreement, but like I said, there's a berm, a dam that goes from that corner right there where his chicken coop is, you can kind of see, all the way over to the other side. And it's about three foot tall, maybe almost three and a half foot in some places. It's uh, definitely enough to cover me under a lot of water, should we get a bunch of rain. Anyway, see ya.